Did you describe the three senior military officials as idiots? Very likely, and I felt that way then, and I would be uh, very... Uh, I would be very unsurprised if I didn't feel that way again, if I once again reviewed the things that they were saying and doing at the time. It's not a position from which I resile. Do you agree that that sort of language and sentiment could have been interpreted by the RGP as support for their arrest of those officials? They didn't need my support to arrest anyone, uh, but I'm a little surprised. If I can take you to the sentence that says... Um, I'm surprised, by the way, to see Mr. McGrail say that my using that language is uncouth. But anyway, um, that it was almost an order. It was close to an order that they should be intercepted. I mean, it's quite something, given that uh, you know, the whole premise of this inquiry is that I should not interfere with things uh, as being chief minister, that Mr. McGrail is now relying on something I said in praying that in aid as if it were an order which I am not capable or empowered to give. Do you accept that this would probably have been interpreted by the RGP as wholehearted support for their actions on the 1st of March? Well, it's very difficult to answer that question in the positive as you lead me to, to do for two reasons. First of all, the RGP is a large organization. It's uh, more than one individual. Um, and interpretation from, by an organization is not something that, uh, that is something I can give you an opinion on. Um, and uh, the second part of your question that it would have interpreted as support. Well, as support for what they were doing jurisdictionally and constitutionally, but not necessarily for the manner in which it was being done. But they could have taken it that way. Um, and the person who was the addressee here is Eddie Yomi, uh, 